Picture this, you're at a town hall, library, or even a police station, and you want to document your surroundings. After all, it's your right provided by the First Amendment audits, isn't it? Well, that's exactly what Sean Paul Reyes believes in. He's been advocating the cause of the general public to record videos in public places. He has been doing it all this time, while sharing it on his popular YouTube channel, Long Island Audit. Sean Paul's mission is clear, he wants to make the government more transparent and accountable. He's always got his camera rolling when he visits these places. If you've been following Sean Paul, you might remember the lawsuit he filed against the NYPD. Well, we've got a juicy update for you. But first, let's quickly recap what initially happened against Long Island Audit and NYPD. In July 2023, Sean Paul Reyes filed a lawsuit against the NYPD over his right to record in police stations. He visited the 61st Precinct in Brooklyn, New York, aiming to exercise his First Amendment rights and document the process of filing a complaint against an officer. Things got heated when Sergeant Codgermet insisted that recording wasn't allowed in the lobby. Sean Paul stood his ground, leading to Officer Giovanni Cacuza getting involved and things taking a turn for the worse. Sean Paul ended up in handcuffs, facing criminal trespassing charges, and spending six hours in custody. All charges were eventually dropped, and his camera and phone were returned after three long months. He bravely shared the video of his arrest on his YouTube channel, announcing that a lawsuit was in the works. And that wasn't the end of it. Back in June, Sean Paul faced a similar situation at the NYPD 75 precinct, enduring 12 hours of imprisonment. Again, he was forced to leave without recording in the lobby, Sean Paul's refusal to back down eventually led to his arrest. Unfortunately, he faced similar situations in various NYPD precincts. Promising a federal lawsuit against the NYPD, Sean Paul also started a GoFundMe page to support his defense, with a goal of accumulating $25,000. Throughout this trial, his lawyer, Jacob Uriel, a seasoned expert in criminal law, stood by his side. Fast forward to July 26, and Sean Paul shared a video titled Federal Lawsuit Press Conference, Sean Paul Reyes v. NYPD Commissioner, Enough is Enough. In it, a spokesperson announced they had filed a lawsuit against the NYPD to challenge their policy against recording in precinct lobbies, which they argue is illegal and violates several laws. Now, here's the exciting news, Sean Paul Reyes has emerged victorious in his battle against the NYPD after a long struggle. Federal Judge Jessica Clark has ordered the removal of unlawful signs, allowing everyone to record officials in the department, in accordance with First Amendment audits. However, the City of New York has filed an appeal, so the case might go in the Second Circuit. However, Sean has reassured his viewers that he and his attorney will win it. And guess what? Sean Paul is not stopping there. He's on a mission to expose fraud and corruption within the department. The question is, will you support Sean Paul on this journey? Let us know in the comments. And with that, we've come to the end of today's video. Before going, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more. Stay tuned and until next time, goodbye.